We've now seen several models, simple exponential smoothing, trend methods, and seasonal methods. And it's a good time to pause and think about the whole landscape of methods that we have got and how they are related to each other. So we call this a taxonomy of methods. So we can summarize like this, that we have methods that have no trend, such as simple exponential smoothing, methods with additive trend, um, such as Holtz linear method, and methods that have additive damped trend, such as, well, the damped trend method, but also damped, we can have damping in hot winters as well. And on the seasonal side, we can have additive seasonality, or we can have no seasonality, we can have additive seasonality, and we can have multiplicative seasonality. So the methods we've talked about, are, um, we've talked about some of these methods, but not all of them, but it's relatively easy to see how you could start combining the different approaches to get variations on the ones we have looked at. For example, a method with no trend, but with additive seasonality, this one here, the NA method. So in this uh, terminology, we're using two letters. The first one is for the trend and the second one is for the seasonality. Um, there are also multiplicative trend methods uh, that you can fit in the Fable package and are discussed in some books, but we don't recommend them because they tend to give poor forecasts. Uh, and so we don't use them or allow them to be used by default in the Fable package. All of the equations that we've looked at for the methods uh, in this, in the first few sections of this chapter um, can be written out like this. And you can see that there are quite strong relationships. The same things are occurring again. You don't have to memorize lots of different equations. Once you see the patterns, it's fairly easy to write down equations for any combination of these methods. Um, so if you're looking across the rows, for example, you can see that the forecast equation um, when there's no trend is just has a has a level. Um, when you put in the seasonality without the trend, it just adds in seasonality or multiplies seasonality. When you do have a trend, it adds in the HBT to each of those three equations. If you have an add additive damp trend, it adds in this phi sub h times bt into the three equations. So they're, they're very, very similar. Uh, if you're looking um, at the level equation, you'll see that it's always of the form alpha times something plus one minus alpha times something. Um, if there's no seasonality, then the alpha is always times yt like this in all three of these examples. If there is seasonality, then the first term is y minus s, or y divided by s in all of these examples, and so on. You have a look at these and you can spot patterns. And as you spot the patterns, you'll begin to understand how the various equations fit together. Um, we're going to uh, generalize these even more in the future sections. But first, it's good to try to understand uh, how these methods work um, in this sort of simpler form of the equations before we start looking at the model form, which is going to come in the next sections. <laughs>